Welcome back to the Uncle Lemsy Podcast! The wee man on the day! The wee man on the wee podcast! The gap on so on. So, how are you here, mate? How am I here? You asked us to come on. I, but how have you decided to come on? Just to help the show. Just to help the show. Get the numbers up, innit? Just to her. You're a bit nervous to the deal that he's here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Boy, boy, seriously, what about training last night? How good was that? Good. Winter. Best I've seen. Listen, I'm telling the 40s and now fucking living up. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> we said it aside to give you one more dance. Oh my <laughs> word. <laughs> yeah, that was it's amazing to like, like, the dedication he goes to his face is blending in with the red <laughs> Oh my <laughs> word, mate. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> Seriously, boys, during the last night, what about the last night? Amazing Standard. winter. Best I've seen you. You were very good, weren't you, bro? He's in your team, brothers, right, weren't you? Uh, very good for the first game, game and then blew up. Blew a gasket near the end, right? I'll thank you, but start was brilliant. He's finished. It's carrying. Do you know why he starts well and ends shite? Carrying the fucking Puma Kinsey, but. That's the last session. Too heavy. They are done. They are too heavy, mate. See you on Thursday when they were. Okay, the rain was done. See when they get soaked. Can you lift my legs up, cousin? I think I still had water in them, fellas. Maybe ginger legs. Andy's got four under armors on in a rain jacket. <laughs> Make me like that. Is that any tight ones to breathe? Son Deco, isn't it? Son Deco under armors. Terrible. A baby yeah. rhino on an under armor. Eh? Do you know you're a wee elephant in an under armor? A wee ginger elephant. <laughs> Could be Warwick. Yeah. Could be Warwick Davis's on in it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we got him on. <laughs> hey, thank you, Pamela, you're my old fucker. Uh, I'm not kidding. I'm just, I don't know about to laugh at you or laugh at Sai's feet. <laughs> I like him, mate. Gucci, Ella. Hey, Gucci. Gucci, mate. Gucci said it. I'm sorry. 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 i and then we're getting done doggy then. <laughs> no, no. That finished? Is that you I, I, think the, I think the honours over, over with. Too much strain in my neck. So anyway, Paul, I'm great. How are you? That's a good start, Paul. No. Nice and cheery. How are you, Paul? Are you good? Fine, I'm, I'm loving this show. Is your body, is your body feeling good this morning after last night? I'm really good, actually. Good, which right? I'm really surprised about because... Aye. But they, honestly, that, that group, they do not feel sorry for at all. Two of them stood in my toe last night, <laughs> and, one, and one of them, I think it was the youngest man, like, get fucking on me. Yeah, yeah. I started, it? Love that. Yeah, I think it was be Matty. I started going like that, trying to mouth after him, so I get fucking on me. By the way, I'm, I'm going to give you a wee podcast you and exclusive. You'll play, a, I think you're going to play a part Friday night. Think so? Uh, definitely. I think, you've, I think he deserves it, doesn't he? After that oh, performance last night. See, see, we're probably going to this, but I've never, and I say this to say, it's not about talking shit or anything, right? But see, when I was at Celtic to Mother, I've never seen intensity like that in my life for training. Good last night. But for the whole, for every session, bro, it's about, wait, he I'm you, not going to lie, I've never been kicked so much in my whole career. Yeah, uh, mate, you just <laughs> smashed it to the last night. We ate him, fucking, my knees still swollen up this morning. We ate him, didn't we? We ate him, didn't we? We ate him, didn't we? No. And then you're shouting, no, I love it, lads. I mean, you two fit if you boy playing the box, didn't you, at first? Mate, you smashed somebody as well. Oh, that's how I end up getting injured, because I think he stamped on me because of the. Listen, lads, nothing obviously happens with foot. Who knows when's the greatest sponsor in the world? Oh, is that how he does this, we think? Who knows anything? <laughs> <laughs> so you've got then a wee man. <laughs> listen, brilliant sponsor, a brilliant podcast. Two of them, two of them come together and make our brilliant show. Listen, look at the lineup today. Ryan Stevenson, uh, Ryan Stevenson was meant to come on, then he take the opportunity. So brothers, he'll not be back on, will he? No bit of big mess. Oh, oh yes, love it, big man. A bit frosty, we're a bit <laughs> tasty. Oh, by the way, can we just say how is you, so you went for want to leather him to now pick them up and bring him? He's in podcast. Ah, and he's chatting my missus up in the moa. What's going on? No fucking he's a slow by the way. Slot on me. Can you get me the moment at McDonald's at finishing? I'll get you a coffee again. Ah, I'm after coffee. I'll give me it then. Didn't even offer my missus, man. I mean, I didn't think of that. He's a horrible boy. And then his he? first words Jumping. was, holy shit, you're a worker <laughs> to my missus. Not even morning, brothers. <laughs> Do you keep putting her on with the seat, man? <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering that. Don't fucking slow by the way. Right, oh, here we go. Who knows when? Are you worried or are you worried about them <laughs> fun? Oh aye. Would you be worried about that? Oh aye. Would you? Lloyd for Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> <laughs> Famous man. By the way, next week, Big Jim Lowe's coming on. He's going to crack everybody on the show, isn't he? He's a legend, isn't he? Oh. And so we're obviously big for the people outside and helping everybody. It's great he's done a sponsor science today. Like. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, back on it. Who knows? Man. Listen, nothing happens with football. 
No games last week, therefore the leaderboard stays as it is for now, Simon, as you know. Download the Who Knows Win app to play and join the Scottish Pit 10 League for your chance to win big cash and monthly prize of a signed open goal. Broomhill FC top nude. Kev, you know when you win that, what happens when you win it? I pick them up. Aye, and I deliver pick it. Pick you up. Yeah. Go to the house. We'll take my ride. We'll take my ride, I depend on what, obviously what... What, uh, eh? Well, they've you got, take my uh, ride and what? I'll take my ride elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Stay watching till the end as Derek Ferguson and Frank McIverney will be back together to pick their results on behalf of the Open Goal team. We'll see if we can climb up the leaderboard after Frank got us off to a shocker. Doesn't it surprise his airside, does it? No, he's close. No. He is genuinely close. I kind of get that start out of my head, but you've done it, eh? That was just <laughs> horrible. That was like fucking. Well, who was that guy that just kept doing that? Yes, remember? Was it Hately? Hately, uh -huh. Or Smudge? <laughs> he deserves no, it. <laughs> <laughs> right, boys, you obviously had a wee break last week. Nice hat. Like it. I've not seen it before. I earned it with a brick. <laughs> <laughs> Big Polish tools, isn't it? Is it, is it Admiral? <laughs> Admiral. <laughs> Then you get Kevin one of the strips, full strip. I want to see Kevin a full broom hole strip. No, wait Smart. till I finish my. I'm going for PT. Are you going PT? I'm going for a PT after aye. your backup. After the backup, <laughs> aye. Once I get that done, I'm going fucking full tonto. Got to spend a year on myself. Aye, aye. Good, come good back for you, big come man. Back. Come back. No, 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 come I, don't, I don't want to play football. I just want to. Uh, for, I, want to just, I want to feel better. <laughs> I want to feel better. Good man. Aye. I think it's, I think I would love to play a big part of the season like last twenty minutes, no matter what. I think that's important. What never starting there? No, because I think when teams they'll get tired. The way your boys play, the, the teams will be one half after half an early and ask. See you why come on and look good. That was better. Jinking in and out of people and I know. getting shot. Well, but your first body you wrapped in, you kid only were gonna shoot chop yeah. and then yeah. fired it across yeah. through your bad first half. Do you know what I've not I've realised though? I do something decent and then it's either decent or utter utter dug shit. No, I well, you will so. get at him, get at him, and I go at him and then fucked up all right in the stone. <laughs> you see that one? Oh but his overhead kick. Ah, outrageous, mate, wasn't it? I think I flicked up with one down at the other one, didn't I? Oh, mate. I'm <laughs> 41, 41 year old. 41 year old. Right, lads, seriously, last weekend, the wee break, what did you all get up to? Kev, I'll start oh, with just kids football, saying it. Just loads of kids football. All oh, the boys, watched them all. Uh, size boys, obviously, in my team. He's he's getting far too big for his he's, boots. He's bringing him down a level. Who is? B. Jud. B. Jud's going home and saying his dad would win all games today, beat Gerd the Kevin. They fucking won two, drew two, lost one. Absolute talks nonsense, but he's a good team player. He's like his dad. Is team he? player, aye. Thanks, definitely. Mate. Definitely. Dale and, and drop us ability about team No, player. he's he's one of the relax if I tell Jude today something, Jude fucking does it. Oh, he listens. He does that. <laughs> Steph was like unbelievable yesterday. Ah, she was looking good, didn't she? Do you know why? Because she's going away for a week. London's not fashion week. Right? London's fashion, fashion week. <laughs> Fuck Six foot yeah. two models, mate. She'll be doing their makeup. He's like, add to me, oh, they models will not be good looking. Well, you, you don't should know what I'm doing. They're big models. I says, they're going to enjoy yourself. You should get down for high heels on the set, mate. Yeah. Stop using my phone. Where are you going on the weekend in London, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, there's what about you, mate, in the break? Can I imagine you were still fucking <laughs> training? Fucking grafting, mate. Nah, I'm kid. <laughs> You've got to let that go, mate. I know. Ain't you? Aye. Just causing you crazy. Too many rules, mate. Who was the wee boys that came in and stole their slush puppies? <laughs> See, this is the hang of a pick now. Tell them tell them stories oh, and they bring it on the podcast. Oh, I know that was. I said, a couple of wee boys in. Ordered the uh, slush puppies, grabbed them and ran. Did, did she that. catch them? Uh, no, nah, Mrs. went after them. <laughs> she catch them? Mrs. caught them, eh? I see, but see, when you were a player alone, you go to the weekend off, it was what a feeling it was. Mm. It? See, mm. when they said to you, I know you, all oh, the boys done the runs, but see, when a manager told you to run, you were never doing it, weren't you? No. 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 New, new times have changed, but back then. They another 5Ks, didn't they? So a good thing, by the way. What's some the best time, say? Case, you know? uh, some, some boys were only asked to do a 5K and done a 10K. Love that for them. What kind of time, say? Uh, most of them are about 20, 21. That's decent, mm -hmm. uh, Which is not That's bad. Really you, under, you can tell they're all fat, aren't they? A few 19s. A few 19s. Did you do it, Selene? Hi. What was your time? Two hours? 31. Oh, seriously, what was it? 23, wasn't it? No. Oh, you never done it? No, I didn't do it. <laughs> That's shocking, Paul. <laughs> no, my just say before we go as well, what about this guy's dedication? He gave up coffees during the week so that the coffee hits him on a Saturday. I know, it's brilliant, that. Who Did else you? would do that, mate? <laughs> Did you die? Did you get a wife doing that? Brilliant. No, it's fucking brilliant, man. Tell your missus was away to Belfast. Did you get a wife? No, she was, wasn't she? Why are you so So you were quite a boy then? No. I don't think it would be Moody, sadly. Who at Alamir, did you? Huh? That would have went on for a couple oh, of days, was it? Oh, no. Just the Sunday. Have you, have, you ever, have you ever had a night out ah, with Moody? Every time I go to his house, mate, I end up falling on my missus. We crashed out at Alamir's house. 
Tom woke Gale. up at half six, mate. I was like, that. Told my missus going to Alan Mills, just be him at about half ten, half six the next morning. Mate. Two hours woke up like that. <laughs> but I don't know, I was, I was a couple of times I went to his house on a Sunday, due at like five o'clock, and I said to my missus, I'll be back midnight latest, and I'm walking in the door as the kids are walking out for their, to get the bus. Don't my house until and she's in, in the early <laughs> six. <laughs> That's the worst feeling in the world, that in it. Oh, See when you walk out and the, the kids are going to school. But he doesn't give a fuck, mate. He's like, I'm a nervous wreck. He's just, he doesn't give a fuck. Bugs are chucking me and everything. Oh, oh. That's the worst. <laughs> and he just kicked on already. I've just got to be clear here before we move on, and no, based on that, because that was good. Because there's five easy days, if I hear any stories going on too long, you'll be put at the show <laughs> to watch, watch the rest of the sides like that. I'm all for it, mate. Listen, most, one of the most proudest moments in my time at Open Goal is this week, Scottish Cup. This started off a room like this at Easter Road. I've said all that before, but to be in the Scottish Cup now, so you're the manager, how exciting is it, Sam? I had really excited me looking forward to it. It's amazing though, isn't it? Uh, it's a hard, it's a hard draw we've got. Uh, it's very difficult. Uh, but I, I, I like the fact that we're at home. I think we're really good at home. Um, like we say, the boys, the last three weeks have been excellent in terms of performance. Uh, Brora, we watched a wee bit of Brora, done a wee bit of work on them last night, so boys should be fully prepared. Um, it's up to them to go and put on a performance. I think there'll be a big crowd here as well, well I'm hoping that. Yeah. Disco lights, first time they've been used at Broadwood, so... Have you seen that? Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. unbelievable. It's going to be absolutely rocking here. Yeah. This is going to be incredible on Friday. The whole the whole setup, the, the actual game itself, because the, your games generally have been end to end so exciting. Fit well, the 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 light show as you said, the atmosphere. Get yourself a lang, I would say. My big one is so the big man likes to step in. I think he'll be desperate to get the first goal in the fucking I like. disco lights, mate. So I can imagine him. Cookie left his side. Playing place ahead. Cookie left one the other. Disciplined. <laughs> Disciplined. There'll be step overs and all sorts of the big man. Are you buzzing for that? Buzzing for it, innit? First Friday night, innit? For the game. Uh, I, think it, I think it could be a, a good crowd, and obviously the boys have had a bit of form, won their last three, so I'm looking forward to the game. There is a difference, though, isn't there? You don't think it'll be a mentality when you play a cup game, though, Kevin, innit? Ah, it's, the, your mindset changes away because it takes away from the distraction of the league but ultimately having won three games in the bench you're looking to continue that run and get a fourth whether it's the Scottish Cup or whether it's the league and also what you want to do is try and get a, a cup run surely yeah, because yeah. if you beat Broader Rangers which is going to be a very tough game because I think they're third in the Highland League the draw could be kind the next round and I think I think it's the fourth round the big boys come in third round you maybe get some championship I'm teams in so that. imagine getting somebody that like I'm pretty sure like the goal, the aim of the whole thing, project, is to go up the leagues in time, whatever it is. But imagine getting one of the teams earlier on the rounds and actually maybe going and giving them a proper game and saying, right, wait a minute, test me yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's a, a, an important thing. And Broad will be feeling the same, you know what I mean? They'll be they'll be coming here looking to get a result and progress at the Scottish Cup. And it's obviously um with the Scottish Cup brings a bit more um like you might get picked exposure. to play on TV, but exposure, things like that. So that's not be a great game. Third in the, the Lone League, third in the, the Highland League. You never know. It could come come the end of the season. It could be the two teams playing each other to get into the, the football league. You never yeah. know. <clears throat> I think it's, it's going to be brilliant. I really do. They play as well. They play. They play it. So it'll be a, a proper game of football. That'll be amazing to see. Will they bring a crowd now? I think they will. Well, well, Where is Broad? Broad's yeah. quite far north, isn't it? Aye. The Highlands. The Highlands. So will they potentially come down Friday night or would they just travel down in the morning? Oh no, it's Friday night, game. it's a Saturday game, sorry. No, it's a Friday game. Right, <laughs> so they'll just... But then again, that's a big ask for them, because they guys are part-time as well. Uh -huh. Coming down the Friday, maybe have to take a day off work. Hi, but the brother are well back, so it wouldn't surprise me if they have, the boys have taken the day off and they're going to come down early and yep, get prepare. properly. But they're going to enjoy playing there, I know, aren't they? Uh -huh. and that patch through the stadium and the uh -huh. lights and all that. Playing, right? So they're going to My be stomach's a churning for it. I'm just looking at the other now, I'm thinking, I can we get that packed? Can you Can you go on it? Imagine that. Can you get four figures? Four fingers? Did you four. <laughs> I even know five fingers. You stood up there, didn't you? You stood up there. Three's already done it. Listen, we've had the, we've had crowds of five and six hundred so far. A wee, a wee four digit number would be good. Oh, 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 and just to let the, the punters know, Susie Slane will be there. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, me, is that what the four fingers made you get <laughs> no, You're a sick need. You're a sick need. No, she, she went into what the other day and they were up in the Champions League music, yeah? What were the knickers? Because of the pants. <laughs> but she slapped me like he'd be a slipper. She was fuming. Yeah, well, that was terrible. That was out of order, that. It was the one he said she's putting her head into him, snicking him. But even the old boys are like, so I'll just say that Cookie will play centre half. With brothers on uh, Friday night, Gaz is obviously missing. But even when you watch the boys last night, you wouldn't even really know that three or more main players are out with the way they've done shape last night in the standard. There was a absolute fucking joke. Usually, shape's a bit of a shambles. I just try to get a message, but 
I didn't even have to stop at once and say, boys, remember what I did this, what I did that. They just fucking went out and... I think it's clicking for them. I've, nah. I'll be honest, I think a lot of them could go a lot higher. I, I think they two, two in the set of the pitch right. brothers in front of you, 19-year-old. 19. They didn't matter. Just, they, they didn't matter. Never, the, the two of them are incredible. They really are. Attitude's brilliant. Attitude. 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 Has raised the yeah, Coleman's levels a wee I bit because there was a, a good a baptism of fire with the start, a few wins. Mm -hmm. Then there was that period in the middle, and then they've managed to bounce back, and get three results. And in the middle, there was no bad performance. It's just, mm -hmm. just the results didn't go. I think now the, the, the kids are starting to believe themselves that they can go on and do good things here. I think so. I, I, not just victories, I just think with the performances yeah. every week, they're getting it. We're, like I say, we're not having to fucking tell them every time that we want, no, we want this to happen. Aye, aye. They're, they're just going and doing it themselves. So, Good. even like for Aiden, for instance, I'll be totally honest, when I first came in, I said, said Aiden played 20s last year with Broomhill. I went and watched him a couple of times. Games that I really liked him, games that I thought he needs to get a lot better. He was not in my plans in terms of being a starter. And he's just taken it upon himself. And he's got aye. this confidence and maturity about him at 19. And I think he's played started every game by yeah, one. Yeah. Which But do you know how it's well that says everything about him. It's not yeah. to do with us that it's all, all, all to do with what how Aiden's done. You put them together and you you taught them the way you want them to play and I think it's just clicking new. It doesn't happen right away, doesn't it? Mm. And a couple of games that you've won has helped him as well. He's got a wee bit about his cell as well. He puts mm. it in. Yeah. He's an animal, he's a, you're yeah, to be a bastard. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> 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 no, but listen, I, I, there's something in life, and there's a lot of people throughout life. I'm, I'm one of them who make excuses for different, make it you'll never get anywhere. But individually and collectively, I've looked at the boys, I've looked at them since the start, and they do not make excuses for it. Now, that's not to say we're going to go for it and win every single game. Of course, not, that's not how it works. But the, the positive thing is, mm. I look at them and I went, do you know what? They'll be fine in life, they boys, because they never make excuses for anything. Now, listen, sorry for that most pathetic speech. I may sit myself out because of that. <laughs> <laughs> now, remember, you work hard all week. The bar is open here at the stadium. So, you and your mates, get your, aye, the bar is open. Unbelievable. So, listen, the boys have worked hard all week. Come to the game. Families know that. Get yourself here. Be glass of wine. Be pint. And as you said, Susie Slane will be there. <laughs> <laughs> She's serving. Oh. Yeah, no. She's a half-time show. <laughs> Last orders. <laughs> like to buy tickets in the... <laughs> like to buy tickets in, in the description below. Make Get sure you address them. Ah, yes, yes, to the game. Again, after after it. It. So, what do you end these order? Half-time. Depends if boys need a last <laughs> Imagine she's done the cleaving right in the dressing room. Next stop, that's too much. Right, yeah. boys, on his Scottish Cup memories. Kevin Kyle, I can't even believe this. I've done my research. Oh, Your no. first ever Scottish Cup game, you get sent off. Aye. And a 2 0 defeat to Inverness. Aye, shocker. How did you get sent up, big boy? Just typical throwing down the line. <laughs> uh, Proctor, David Proctor, was uh, it? Proctor, yeah, Proctor was marking me. And I went up to flick it on. As I flicked it on, he tried to heater the ball and he's heated my arm and big... Uh, he's heated my arm. He's heated my arm. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> he's heated my arm and I get sent off. Uh, Brines, was it Brines, the referee? Uh -huh. Ian? Um, Ian Brines, it was. Sent me mm -hmm. off. And then on the Monday, Proctor actually said in the match, uh, the, the Sun, I think it was, uh, I, I jumped up and he did Big Kev's elbow. So he actually did. I didn't actually elbow him. Right. He just jumped up and it made it look. And I uh, read... Was your family there? Nah, it was up in my mess. It was in my mess away. My family's not gone any further. Did they have any text to you and let, you let them down? Nah, because I think that How was... How are you playing, my kid? That was come on. I think that was about my fifth... My fifth red card in my career. Were you quite a, a nasty bug? Nah, I just... Nasty. I, I wasn't nasty. I just... Um, I picked my red cards because obviously I like Christmas off and that. <laughs> <laughs> I've nah. said it before. I've said it before. So um, I think that would have been... So that would have been about maybe February 2009. Um, but nah... Sent off. Weekend, what did the jet? What did Jim Jeffries say? Jet was raging. Jet was raging. Um, Thinking that. Nah. Because I'd scored the week before, didn't I? My first game against St. Merlin, my second game was against um, Inverness in the Cup and got sent off, and I was like, oh, fuck. But that's what it is. Is it an early bath? Early bath, right. Jumping at me. <laughs> <laughs> you Billy was waiting on you, mate. Billy, you Billy, you Billy, 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 Billy was fucking thing with the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Brothers, can you remember your first Scottish Cup game? Uh, oh, wow. Must have been at St. Merlin. That would have been. It was against an unbelievable match. Oh, have you got it? Eh? Wow. Well, I done my research last night. Was it Celtic? Wow. No. no. Manager. He must have been. Cut, a... I guess. Game of clue. Owen Coyle was playing. Oh, was it Airdrie? Yeah. Wow. Was it? Wow. Coyle. Did Coyle score. Coyle, you must have been playing up against him. Did you? Aye. Did Coyle you play centre half? Alan Gow. Yeah, oh, that's a good two. That and that. That's a good two. two Owen Coyle and well. Alan Gow playing the same team. Aye. Wow. Did we won 2-0 that day? Did, did, right? did you sheet? start that game? Can you remember? I did, fine. Get a clean sheet against Alan Gill and Coyle on your game. Ah, 
No, my day, right. Scottish. Scottish day, yeah. day. I must have been what? Right, so that's 17 then? Ah, you've got a bit in there, Nathan. And you're 17. Coyley, Coyley, Coyley. Coyley. Uh, yeah, Coyley's got a bit Great in there. Great finisher. Yeah, brilliant. So, your family at that, brothers, I can not remember. Nah, no chance. No chance. <laughs> What's the, what's the family thing? Are you desperate for somebody's family? No, just, I think because it's the Scottish Cup this week and I know that the boys talk to the boys and talk to my family. I don't know what it is, it's with the Cup. They're all coming this week, so I'm just wondering if they're family. He's like my missus, isn't he? It's a family Cup. <laughs> Sick. I don't think I'll be able to win the dugout. Will this be your... Will this be your... You, you've played in the Scottish Cup, I take it before. I've played two games in the Scottish Cup in my life. I replay against... Air United against... Alwa, replay. Any goals in it? It was a draw the first game and then second the winger game. Must, the winger must have played well in their goals. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't even listen. It was a no bad game. <laughs> then what about? Have you ever reached the Scottish Cup in your career? <laughs> reached it? Oh. oh, he's having one. He's having one. No, have you not? Take a deep breath and ask him the proper thing. Right, sorry. Have you ever reached the Scottish Cup? <laughs> no, have you ever. I don't what's know your game here? What's your biggest game in the Scottish Cup? <laughs> Hearts. Hearts, was it, mate? Yeah. Who bit? Was that with Hamilton? No, Queens. I think we were at Tinkastle and beat them in penalties. Did you? Did you take one? Yep. Of course you did. What was the score Tell the noise, tell the noise. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't remember the score in the game. Kev, it must have been one or two each, the amount of penalties. He put them in. Yeah, yeah. What, 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 what was that? What year was that? It couldn't have been long ago, but Chris Higgins scored for a corner to put in the penalties. So maybe about six years ago. Aye. Yeah. Did you ever go on a good run in the Scottish Cup at Peter Reid? Did the fuck. Did you know? We were almost good in the League Cup. We beat Hearts. Ian Catherine got sacked after we played Hearts. Um, so another couple of managers that came up to Peterhead and got beat in the League Cup and lost, lost their job but Scottish Cup I don't think we did yeah. Dundee so we had um, my one year at Dundee we had a big meeting before the Scottish Cup and Paul Hartley was like this is a, this is one of our main objectives this year get to the Scottish Cup final take this club to the Scottish Cup final first round at Aberdeen at home fuck three two. <laughs> <laughs> that's the plan for the season gone uh, no I've never done well in the Scottish Cup mate even at Peterhead I think I think we've been put out first round we Next just time. focused on the league, didn't we? There, really. Do you think a lot of players uh, of Scotland take the Scottish Cup as serious as what maybe they do down in England? The FA Cup. Oh, FA Cups like, are a big, Cups thing, a big thing. Whereas I found in my time up here, even with Hearts and Kilmarnock, Scottish Cup wasn't it quite the same. Mm. Like it's a big deal if you get to the last stages. Stage, yeah. But the early stages, you're not really hopeful of unless you're playing with one of the bigger teams that yeah. might get there. Yeah. Whereas if you're a lower league team, like obviously Broomhill, Brora, their goals maybe not to get to a final, their goals to try and get to enough rounds to maybe play yeah. one of the bigger boys. But when you're playing for one of like a Kamarnik or the Hearts or something, do you think at the early stages, or oh, we might get to the final of the Scottish Cup if we're, if we're lucky? No, I think you do. Do you? I, I, I think when I was at Kamarnik, that, that was one of your things, to get to Hamden at least. Yeah. Mm. Like, because we knew we were never going to win the league. Let's nice no bit, right? so the two cups. It was always at least get to the semis and try and get to Hamden. And I think Steve Clark said that as well when he left. That was his biggest disappointment at Kamarnock, no getting to a final with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you were asking about winning it, huh? I, but I was just before. I was just about to go into that. But before that, do you used to Dylan inside the use. I know you are in here and it's brilliant, but do you miss playing at Peterhead? No. Nah. You're really just not? happy now that you're doing your management. Uh, no, no, I think I had enough time up there. I was. Coming to the end anyway. Your time was brilliant the other one. Yeah. Oh, I loved, loved it. Laugh. Loved it. It was a good place, wasn't it? Aye. It was me. It was probably a better laugh when I wasn't a coach. I got an angry wee guy when I became a coach. But before that, as a player, mate, was it brilliant? It's been journeys that we have sat in the scud for Peter Ed to Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the things you used to tell people was unreal, mate. man. What's that? Just talking about their match. What did you do last night? No, we should mark. I'm sitting. Some boys talking. I've heard about that sitting in the scud coming back. Uh, we we'll stop to today. Yeah, man. What do we call it again? When you get at the party bus, uh, no, party I'll bring bus, my missus. Bus. <laughs> we used to get. Mate, I was that obsessed with drinking on that bus that we, we were uh, we were playing a game on a Saturday. And it got cold off at ten in the morning. I don't know if you were. I don't think you maybe <laughs> came at this time. Big Russell was and we Jack Leach and uh, got cold off at ten in the morning. So my missus texted me saying, oh, your game's off, you're just heading back up the road. So me, Jack and Russell were, every Saturday we would get on it proper and we were like, fuck, what can we do here? So we were like, the, the three misses were close as well, so we were like, tell your missus we're training at Peter and Peter Head at 12. So it was Aberdeen, I got called off this time the night before. And uh, Jim was like, uh, right, just go up the road. So we were like, the missus, no, we're training at 12 at Peter Head, so we'll not finish till two, so we'll still not get back to eight o'clock at night. Straight to Sainsbury's, half ten in the morning, big carry out. Full bus journey back, scud dancing, <laughs> and the scud clays back on. We go down to my local. Didn't we didn't know where to go. Mackay, wasn't it? Real Mackay sat in there. The full. I was in fear that she'd walk past the pub. She ain't something up in Peterhead. 
One of the other birds tells her that um, one of the other birds tells her that there was no training. The boys are up the road, so she's phoned me fucking fuming. She's went to her mum's with the boys, so me, Jack, and Russell went up to mine, sitting in the booze all day watching the horses. And night ends with me and Russell in the scud again out my front gear, the rolling about. Really fine, mate. Like my neighbours got it on fucking camera the next day. So he kind of you're up, you're not. But Russell was brilliant, mate. So me and Russell were really tight when I was a player. When I became a coach, we had a couple of arguments. Maybe we've had the same relationship, but he was funny, Russell. So we would, uh, when you'd go up to Peterhead, you'd obviously stop at garages. He'd get a fucking Turkish delight, the worst. <laughs> Why'd you always get that? The one last night as well. Got every night. Gad, this is, some of the funniest things come from that Gaz Fraser. He was he came to us and was told to lose weight, so he went to eating crisp and sweeties. To one day he comes in, he he obviously doesn't know what healthy food is. Somebody's like to me, need to eat healthier. So I can, I'm watching him in the garage, mate, and he's he's fucking fried about what to get in the garage. It's healthy. <laughs> so he comes out in the bus and sits and carrier bag pulls out a bag of grated cheese <laughs> <laughs> sits and opens mate and sits and nails a fucking bag of grated cheese that is well, mate, unbelievable but another good one was uh... <laughs> oh, did you tell him that was good no, for you no, I just you just went and put him so Big Russell was funny mate Big Russell went like, went in one day and bought a packet of cheese slices were you doing uh, that no Russell goes and buys a packet of cheese slices <laughs> so I think what the fuck's he doing with that he's obviously not eating them uh so we get into uh, training at Forth and Hoggy, the old fitness coach, comes to meet us in the corridor and Russell's taking a cheese slice and putting it on his hand without telling Hoggy. He's like, what's happening, Hoggy? <laughs> Hoggy's done that and he's got fucking cheese slice on his hand. But the best thing was Greg the physio. He's, he's fucking completely bald and he's a sweaty bastard. Oh. He, Greg sweats like fuck. He's so sweaty out of tap. I know what's happening, yeah. Russell, he's, he's on the table. He's mass massaging somebody. He's fucking getting right in it. We all came in, Russell, cheese slice on his head. He goes, what's happening? Slaps him on the head. And Greg's like, ah, fucking cunt, never real. He's <laughs> got a cheese slice. Got a full fucking air before training, mate. <laughs> he, he must have been stinking a cheese, man. <laughs> so oh, they were, oh, the garage magic. was always good times, man. The, uh, the one I deal you've told me was amazing when you was getting beat after the game. And I think you spoke, or the manager spoke, and then Gaz spoke. No, it was me, man. I went fucking. So went you mental. went mental, and then. I'm talking mental, mate. Right, veins popping out my head, and then Gad Fraser spoke F to you. I went, What have you got fucking anything to say? You, it's yours, it's your career, so you've got anything to say. And Gaz had been out for a while, I think it was his first game back, and Gaz was like, I just feel like we're a shinking sit. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, uh, I should yeah. be thinking shit, you fucking dumb <laughs> bastard. See, he's done that. I went, my head's down, and I'm laughing, right? He's sitting and shaking, you see? I've just seen Gaz's feet coming there. And get to me, I went like, guys, get to fuck away from me. I can't look at you, you just walked away again. Oh, you saw the boy, didn't you? Oh, oh, that was a boy, oh. done a cult up with it recently. The guy first started laughing, didn't he? Yeah, he did that, didn't guys, Fraser, I've been out for a year. I get a fucking phone call or something, guys has hurt his knee down a cult up. <laughs> so I take his shoes and I was like, a cult up? What's that, like, a fucking five kids? Like, 28 miles <laughs> on a Sunday after we played the Saturday and we had a game on the fucking Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, don't kill no, oh, oh, fuck what a man. boy he is, man, honestly. He's up there, isn't he? Ah, he phones me and says things before it would die his door. You know he knows <laughs> every number of every player? Ever in the SPL? Aye. Uh, does he, eh? The shirt uh, number. Ask him any player's number who tell you the Why shirt is number. Why is that? It's mad, isn't it? It's weird. It's ah, very strange, eh? Uh, you get some fucking tool on oh, him, he'll oh, tell you oh, that. Oh, oh, is it? Mate, some of the things he's done with that and that. I guess he talking about sitting in the scud, mate. He's, he, he sat, he sat with that lively. So it's not just been, it's been lively for the full way. Oh, I've not <laughs> seen that. And he's behind you. I've not seen that. Oh, he, he was good on the bus because Gaz was injured. And our assistant manager, Davey, Davey's yeah. quite highly strong. And uh, when Gaz first came up to us, we played a, a friendly against like fucking Fraser bro or something it was, so you can imagine the accent. So Ga I'm playing next to Gaz and Gaz is like that to me, what the fuck's that accent? <laughs> it was a boy, they had a boy called Cooper. So Fraser, my players kept going like that, pass it to Cooper! <laughs> so that, Gaz was obsessed, so he's like, what about that fucking accent? So see the next week, we've got a bus journey for Glasgow to Peter, he, Davies in a bad oh. mood, sorry, in a bad mood. And Gaz does the accent for fucking Glasgow. You, were lo you loved that, didn't you? Oh my God, Davy's head was going to explode. Yeah, wanna... What did you think of Cooper? <laughs> <laughs> but it was getting to the stage where we were playing in training. Super like, Cooper, Super Cooper, Cooper, Cooper. Hey, he was funny, guys. Mm. Oh, oh, just stay up. Thing. 
Men det kan ikke sige, at det er bare strengt, når han brønder sig. Hvad er der bygget i boks? Anja Schubert. Hvad er det? 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 Så er det en kæft 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 <laughs> well, do it, well, in, in my early open gold days, well, Dana, I'd get Coke Reds, right? Just the Theo's, like a speed. Yeah, but the dark days, wasn't there? Um, dark, dark days. He necked about six cans of Monster before the show because he was nervous, right? Clean. And then at the end of the night, <laughs> the end of the night, he nearly, like, <laughs> I don't know whether I had to fucking put a defibrillator on him or whatever, but he was nearly gone, so I said, I'll give you a left hand stain. So I gave him a left hand and him a left hand. Oh, was that loose kid that was fucking done? And then uh, he, 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 he says, Stop, I need a shite. I says, What are you going to get a shite in the pot? She Why took me last week. I don't know, I don't think I did. No, he don't move. He just did a don't wee bit. Huh? See, um, <laughs> even seeing it at Peter Head, we had a wee guy, wee Mick. Brilliant. Wee Mick, the scout, so he goes and watches the opposition. Excel scout, wasn't he? So for some reason, he used to come up to our training, drive all the way to Glasgow to Dundee, uh, and every day we'd park in a space. So we would organise it with the boys, that somebody would park in front of his motor, somebody would park at the side of his motor like that, <laughs> and the bus would park at the other side of his motor <laughs> that way for his motor. So he's basically fucking boxed in me. Can he so get like, He'd be sitting in the car park and room team. For a When they get a keys in the car. You know what we had to do? He's still sitting there. Trying to get a sunrise. Trying to get a sunrise. You don't know No. That was brilliant. You could see us coming or not. You could see us coming. You could see us coming. You could see us coming. <laughs> oh, oh man. man. So we, uh, we had, uh, we, Davey had two phones, didn't he? So we were texting him pretending to be the chairman. <laughs> <laughs> we were texting him pretending to be the chairman uh, and says to him like we would ask him to do random stuff he like can you wear a suit to the next game and come up to the office <laughs> to see it turns up mate with the fucking phone <laughs> <laughs> you're doing a great job and all I just need you to wear a suit <laughs> <laughs> oh there were some you, characters on the way that's what kept I was only there for a year mainly, but it was that good alright you, oh, right, uh, you were only going to go up for a year uh, and end up for a year because the boys were brilliant. Ah, is that the, the best thing about it? The Jimmy uh, Mack's good as well. No, the, the manager's good. The manager good. that was good, but see the journey and that, you're thinking, that's a long way. So it went like that. The journey's the best bit. Who yeah. was it? You, you two guys, who else is in that? Leech, Conroy. Was Conroy there? Scott Brown, Leech, Jack Leech. I'm obsessed boys. with Conroy, by the way. Obsessed with him. Hey. Just think he's one of the best guys that ever lived. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he's why even even he's only drink. But his standard as well, and he's a great example for every boy, isn't he? Have you ever had talk about amazing journeys? Have you ever had any awkward journeys with people in the motors? I've told you that. One this morning. One this morning. I was a fucking I team myself up for not to say that. What have you seen with you? Have you ever like been because you did you travel for Inverness to Glasgow? I myself though. Oh, was it yourself? Yeah, it's shit. So but when I became a coach, I told you that. We had, I had the boy Kyle move in with me and I fucking gave him it after a game once and I totally forgot that I had to, I drove him up the road. So I oh, slaughtered him, mate, the full way. And mate, it was silence for, I think I had to take it for Peter Ed to Glasgow and I fucking gave him it after a game once and mate, complete silence in the motor for three years. Manny's have got to say something at the end that. Well, I think he did say something and I just fucking... Sorry, too angry. Uh, maybe it was a sorry or something, mate, but I just completely... He's on your couch, you're not sleeping on your couch, couch now. Was he sitting naked? Get the players getting naked. Kev, what about you? Any journeys? Nah, just that one I had the other week and I was dropping the two birds off in the taxi. Fucking stomach started rumbling, isn't it? Jobbed the fucking steps. I'm fucking six miles for six miles. But my birds come up the steps and dropped them up at mine. I dropped the birds in the car and uh, fucking dropped them back to fucking, no, no steps, shorts or something that was, right? And I was about five miles away, and my stomach started going, you know, you need to go to the toilet. Mm -hmm. You know, I heard that? And I thought, oh, fucking, I'll hold on a wee bit longer. Kept going, I was like, oh my God, I'm not going to get these, I need, I need to live it out. But I thought, if I, I thought if I live it out, it would be out everywhere. <laughs> and, I, and I was just sort of, God, I'm fit with doing, and it was fucking dark, it was going to cut the road, and I could, every time I go fast, I was like, She's gone, there's a bendier driver, and I was like, I know. And then, so I she got them out, right? And I thought, oh, fucking hell, thank God. So I'll, I'll drive somewhere and just, like, let it out. Let it out. Fucking had to get in the back of the motor and find a Primark bag in the back of the motor. Oh, <laughs> just <a> shame. <laughs>
but Gareth McKenzie, he was up there. Oh, well, Gareth is brilliant. You read those guys as well. Guys, I was even good on. He came up here last Sunday. He brought his pal's boy, and guys was funny. That I told you, we do a weekend away at Peterhead every pre-season. So you play Saturday, Sunday, but the gap will actually cut a drink Saturday night. Guys, first lip, first week up, we're ordering pints. He's went up and said, Geez, that fucking bottle of vodka. No, bottle of whiskey. Geez, that bottle of whiskey. I did talk to him. We were like, ah, What, you want a whiskey? He's like, No, the bottle. <laughs> Sat me with a bottle deal. Just like? ice in it. Just ice in it. Just a pint on the way ice. Just I know. That's what you usually take. How long a bottle of water? All night. Whiskey. You sit there all night, half an hour, mate. Gone. I'm like, right. Tonto, no, he, no, no, right. he went for there, there. <laughs> honestly. He's Shattered absolutely crazy. He's in the fucker, isn't he? Hotel. End up in the paper. So he did. Ah, he's nuts. But yeah, he, he's, by the, he's a fucking brilliant guy, by the way. Isn't he? But the best of the best one is, mate, he's gave this boy it. He's gained this boy it, right? And the boy's scared him a wee bit back. So <laughs> the boy's obviously went up the road and told his dad. The boy must have been about, what, 24, 25? He's like a big boy. He could handle himself. I think guys were giving each other a bit of patter. So he's always went back and went, oh, this guy was giving me shite in the hotel last night. Can you come up and see him? So the dad's obviously fucking thought, right, I'm going to go and be a hard man. Jump up. So he's like, he's like that to us. He's like, who was being cheeky to my boy? And we were like, oh, was it big guys? And like, uh, he's like, right, where is he then? I was away up the, to the, to sh- apologise with him, up to the hotel mine. Right. So the dad was there, done with yous. And me and guys are away up, so guys have got to apologise to him. But he, the boy was already done at our gaffer. Sticking him in, I think the manager, uh, his dad was like to fight with guys, wasn't he? Uh-huh. He's like, I'm gonna fight him and I want to fight him, then he sees then he sees the big man. He's like that when he goes, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Were you at Blackpool with him, uh, brothers? Amazing. Was he? Who did you share that place? Me, him and Fergie. Oh, did you say share this? It's an aggressive free run, isn't it? Oh, 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 it's an aggressive oh, free. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. <laughs> hell. Did you have nights written that, you three? Oh, aye. I used to tell the missus we're training on a Sunday <laughs> get the Monday off, we're off Sunday, Monday and just get home on a uh, Sunday afternoon, stay a Saturday night What a guy Good thing like put it away, can oh. it? Unbelievable, but It'd be good to get him on, by the way Gaz would be good Wouldn't it? But yeah. it'd be stories that, I don't know if you could Gaz stories are for But he's, he actually is funny just talking into his uh, voice uh, right. Him I and know, Andy had a competition so you could take the most sleeping pills Did you hear that? That is brilliant Him and Andy Halliday Wait, the competition pills? so you could take the most sleeping pills and drink at the same time and drink at the same time man. fucking hell there's no water who won Andy? Andy? no Andy's turned that one man he says I've no water off him he's jumping late in that he's jumping late in that Andy you've been absolutely you've been absolutely magical but now a wee bit of oh, this is a wee bit dodgy here brothers you were in two Scottish Cup finals in 2008 and 2009 wow but you didn't play in either? Yep. Oh, wow. Played every minute, every round to the what final. What was the story behind that? Get bombed. Did, was that Walter Smith? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a tough one. One of them against that, Queens, wasn't it? One of so them against Queens. Brothers, what was, what is it, what was <laughs> the deal with it? Probably, I think he played Whitaker because he thought he was more attacking at fullback. And we were playing Queen of Suf, and if it had been disrespectful, I, th- I think he thought we were going to run out of the tap. Right. So you wanted a mere attacking player. Aye. Right? These were two down, weren't they? Two down at half time. And they were good, eh? When did he tell you that you were on the plane? Uh, the morning when he named the team didn't even tell me because oh, to be fair it was Coy yeah. State in the Scottish Cup so, so are you going in the right before and I'm playing Coy Scottish State Cup State final 100% morning? so I played every minute every round to the final we played in the because it was that was a mad week where we played seven games in seven days or something so we played at St Mum we beat them 5-0 and then we went to Aberdeen and we lost the league on the Thursday Right. and I never played and I'm thinking oh buzzing he's resting me for the game on the Saturday against Queens because it's two days and then he uh, Bombed me for the squad, so he dropped me on the bench and then bombed me for the squad. Oh, you weren't even on the bench? No, I never made the no. bench. Oh, that's Holy not right. That's heartbreaking, man. That's not right. That's crazy. No, isn't it? It? I think the rule then, though, you had to have, was it 221s as well? Did you go so Metal Brothers? I made a few quads out of that rule. No. <laughs> no. Oh, but surely he's got, got to go Smith. He's got, to speak, you, he? he's got to speak to you. I know. But he just said it was. Was Wicker on the, like, was he in the squad most of the games through the week as well? He played more or less left mid, I think he played. So he did. The fact you weren't even on the binge. I know. Were you upset, Ronald? I was raging, aye. Uh, Head gone. Straight on it. Oh, I couldn't even imagine that. Eh? Still got a medal on that, eh? Because your whole uh, family's still got a medal on that. Yeah, you, you don't get a medal of the day, you get one later. So you do. But it's not, it's not the, the same. same it's not, not the same. Not the same, same aye. Aye. So you didn't, you, you didn't say it in a tone, or? <coughs> no. Can't that was my first season. Can you? Oh, first season. First season. Oh. So they never said anything after it, are they? No, nothing. Because that was the last game of the season, and then we went back to Ibrox for our little party, and... You don't feel parry, do you? No. I just went home to my mates a minute for two days. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Well, you, you didn't even enjoy your summer after one. that, could you? No, 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 I'm to take that. Aye. 
Oh, mate, I actually feel for you. That's, that's terrible. I know. We should never ask that. <laughs> shouldn't have, shouldn't have, no. What are you going to ask about next? He's dog dying or something? <laughs> you better laugh at that. Oh, dying New Year's Eve, my dog. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fucking hell. Get bring the car on the way home. This is all bad. Next question, Paul. Were you He's playing, walking up the road. Were you playing the game when Big Boy said it was too hot at half time? I got paid for that one as well. Oh, for fuck's sake. But I was walking in. What was the dressing room? Was it? Oh, brilliant. So it was the hottest day ever. I'm talking, what, 26 degrees or something. No, no, at half time, or oh, shite, we're miles off it. Gaffer's behind Boydie, and Boydie doesn't know he turns it into Big Jig. Fuck me, two one for a game of football the day, big man. <laughs> Straight out of the dressing room, oh, Walter walks in, you're off. Straight off. Oh, it's the worst. That's man. horrible, isn't it? You had that before at football when you've been speaking about somebody and they're standing behind you. Aye, a couple of times I think, and I've, I've hoped they've not heard me. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh-huh. Shit. Oh, it's the worst. I've done it in a pub, I was in a pub one time, and the owner, who I, who I felt was a boring guy. So I'm sitting talking to fucking this guy. Boring, and I went, and I went, fucking, he's just a fucking, he's just a boring guy anyway. He's fucking he's standing oh, still there. And he just went, when you say, I says, are you a boring And that was it, I just walked out. No, yeah, I never, it's even I get caught, you never, you, you, you try, you make a liar, don't you? No, what do you, fuck? Oh, <laughs> what? You kidding on? You kidding on? It's the worst, isn't it? I see Is that what you were doing this morning when you're trying to pull your trousers back on? That's not what you doing, man, no, just a wee bit tight. <laughs> I see that my mate, I, me and my mate were walking up to the shoulders, I was wee fat last year, and I was like, she's annoying me, she's running down. And I went like, damn, who the fuck's that wee thing? And then it was, it was my, my mate's cousin. <laughs> I'll get cut, fuck me. <laughs> well, he's I'm actually the proudest I've ever been in. <laughs> It's my favourite show ever. So you've been outstanding. Aye. You really have. What do you think? Kev? What is that I done? I think we're uh, I think we're right. Aye, that's us. The views are going through the roof. No, mate. we need me. The views Just are going through the roof. I'm enjoying this. Eh? Aye, it's probably uh, we'll keep uh, it going. Right, okay. Let's see. How, let's see how good the host he is. Let's see if he can call a couple of questions off. A couple well, see, of, oh. see, we, see, we use uh, no brothers here, no included. The use three. Is there ever usually you've been playing game in, game out, playing very well, great run. The team is in a great run, and you come to a big game and then you get bombed. Good question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What is it? Well done, son. Hey, Broders has obviously just talked about this. What were you, Dale? I'll hear you think about this. What was it? What's your question? You've been playing so well, and then you were just bombed <laughs> for no reason. Because there was a cracking one with we Mark O'Neill, Champions League final. We Mark O'Neill? No, we Mark O'Neill, sorry, Mark O'Neill up to the Champions League. I just called Mark O'Neill, we Mark O'Neill. Uh, no, up to the Europe. I just see that. We Mark O'Neill? No, wow. I, just, I just see that people, we as this way I speak. But up to the, uh, the final, and then was it who came in? European Cup final, Mark O'Neill came in. Oh, that's right, not in the Forest. Aye, not in the Forest. Uh, who was it that came in again? Is it actually we actually game him? Aye, so it was. But what were you we saying, you have any? We actually. <laughs> <laughs> I got bombed for a, a, a game against Portsmouth at Swindon to Canny because I never made a run right and she told you. I, he wanted a run and done a certain way, mate, and I'm convinced. He made me do the run about 30 times, mate, and he's like, nah, nah. Just wanted to drop you. Mate, it was a fucking straight run in the box. Just wanted to drop you. Just desperate to drop you. So this is the day before the game, I'm in the shape. And his full team talk the next day was, this guy cannot follow instruction. Can't do the run properly, doesn't play today, I'm like that. Fucking oh, day we like. Mine's just probably self inflicted, isn't it? Are you out, aren't you? Ah, You've been out. You barely need to Chelsea, Dale? Brilliant. You spoke Brilliant to him? for him, no. But will he be lost in there or will he be good? No, I think he'll be good. Well, he's training, he's, 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 he's training is always brilliant. What is it, mate? Uh, high tempo and that. Got on with everybody. So I think he'll do well. There's been something in my head for the start of Ante Ashley Brothers. See, Big Boy, do you remember? He used to score lots of goals, but when he came to Champions League games or Celtic games, he used to get dropped. Remember that? Right. How did he deal with that? No great. I don't know if he'd fill anybody up. Oh, he'd go and see the manager every time. Was was he? He? Yeah. But he Would didn't he score right? a lot against Celtic or... I think it was because, obviously, the games we're not going to have much of the ball. And Boydie was a, just a poacher, really, mm-hmm. to be honest. Uh, so, we the other games, we would have the ball creating a lot of chances. Boydie would be there to finish them. In a Champions League game, you'd put maybe two or three. But he usually takes them, doesn't he? Aye, he would take them, but... Would we create good enough chance, chances for him to take them in Champions League? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But then you need the other side where you'd Kenny or Dashville, then the other side. The boys after, didn't they? You yeah. know what I mean? So it takes a wee bit of pressure mm-hmm. off you. Because mm-hmm. a lot of time it's 4 5 1, wasn't it, in the bigger games? Ah, Kenny Miller played, didn't he? And then we even yeah. went to a 5 4 1. Did you just play 5 4 1? Five, the second season we went to 5 4 1. I what was 3 5 2, but it was 5 4 1. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was that the UEFA Cup final season? No, that was a 4 4. That uh, five one nine, and then the Champions League we went to three at the back, and we Sasha Davy, Magic nine up at left wing back, 
Um, Some team that got it. Yeah. Even if you're a boy, do you're still thinking like, oh, I could be that one guy up front. I'll work hard the other day, but it's not as easy as that, is and it? And he's really? probably thinking as well, if I get that one chance, I'll take it. I know. Because he probably was. And you fancied him, didn't you? Was mm-hmm. he the best finisher at the club? Right. Ah, he was the best finisher. Was he? A bit of a mile. Was he? Ah, every I chance. only ever saw him once the 21s and a half. I used to think, fucking, he just hammers everything. I just hammered everything. All I always said was, I hit the chart. If I hit the. The target, I've got a chance. He didn't right. go for corners, and I just hit the target, I've yep. got a chance. Come on, I trained there a few times, and we were up there and watched him in training. His finishing was a joke. Uh, is it? Nah, a joke. Mm. Didn't really improve much, but his finishing was a joke. Your finishing's a joke. Uh, you're unbelievable. That was a good finish. Uh, unbelievable. It was weird because when Boyd was younger, it was rapid running. Was he? Oh, aye. Right. Growing up, aye. Right. <laughs> it's strange, eh? Because when he was a young. He was a year above me, but <laughs> I used to go up to the selects and play with him, and he was bigger, stronger, faster than everybody growing up. He was the next big thing. Is a young boy running about Ayrshire. Wow. Bro, to see in that in that dressing room, see if Walter Smith was going going for MD, would anybody ever answer Walter Smith back? Never. N- if you never I seen it once where Fergie went back and he flung the tactics board at Fergie. Did and then he? and told him to come up, you fucking take the team then. Fergie shot it and never went up. Mm. Fuck. You're not answering Walter Smith back. No, no, no. Right. Ah. Oh, that everybody everybody, everybody you speak to says that, but no, not no, just no, one no. person, everybody you speak to. I've given a few managers it back, I know. Who? Who'll be the next one? Who? <laughs> 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 right, boy, oh, thanks very much. Go on, go on, go on. Because if you actually see him in the dressing room, oh. he's a mouse. He's a mouse. He's a mouse. Fucking. That's an actor. See what you're seeing in the car on the way over. Roger, sorry, just to put this to you. You're, if you're doing a famous side team that you played with, who would it be? Goalkeeper. Oh, wow. Uh, oh. Defender, two midfielders, and a striker. Actually, just go for me, your five best players. Oh. I need a goalkeeper. What's it? It's going to be yeah. McGregor. Never heard yeah. you ask him, do no, I? No, no, no. It's got to be Majid Bagheera, Carlos Quella. Aye. Oh, from Quella. That's nice. Good teeth. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's got to be Fergie, player. Steve Davis. Oh. And it's got to be Boydie. That's a sexy side, but anyway. <laughs> yeah. well, you told me, didn't you? <laughs> two defenders, two midfielders, and a striker. Oh, said, Who would your goalkeeper be? Griggs it. Aye. Ah, that's, that's some fucking brilliant. Majid Bagheera was some player. After that. No. I thought mean, Majid Bagheera was tough. <laughs> yeah. Like Why are you playing? You could sneak in there. Well, come on, see, it's a, it's a lonely podcast. It gives us um, my because it'll be fun. A lot. Did Did it, 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 no, you got to have played on a pitch with them. Van Dyke. <laughs> <laughs> Dale, what's yours actually? That's a great. That's a great question for Dale by the Gorham. Good shout. Um, Big Jim. I like Neil. McCarthy, MacArthur, Doby. Oh, good oh. team. Uh, there you go. Did you you played with Dobie, didn't you? Dobie was yeah. unbelievable. Was he brilliant to play, oh, I guess. I played with Dobie at Blackpool. Not just a finisher, but as in a football player. Glides a line, grunt, uh, didn't mm. he? Uh-huh. I've just got unbelievable. For any young boys watching, I've watched Stephen Dobie play for Queen of the South Reserves against Celtic Reserves before he'd done all that. He was about 18 stone, uh, yeah. never moved, uh-huh. and then got him selling right. good and mm-hmm. ended up going to the top. What a career. Mm. Mm-hmm. Was a good guy as well. Five promotions to the Band, Premier League. Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 A few fifty percent increases in the wages there. Uh-huh. 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 And then getting yeah. one. <laughs> but if you're gonna pay, we're gonna if you go up, we're gonna put your wage up, me man. So you'll be up to twenty five a week, all right? What is your team? What's your team? Oh no, what's yours? Oh, mine's with the Premier League team. That's a good. What played with or against? No, with Tommy Sorensen. Goalkeeper. Not as good as I thought it was going to be. Uh, I use a Denmark. I thought better caps. by then. <laughs> eight yard caps. <laughs> uh, Santa Half. Uh, Tommy <laughs> Helmer. Played in Germany. World Cup. <laughs> Thomas Helmer. Oh, brilliant. Never Midfield. Don so. Hutchison. Good player. Cloud Arena. Oh, oh Ken yeah. Phillips up front. Oh, oh. Sensational. Up front? Played with Ken Phillips. Mm-hmm. You go first. Let's go. Let me at you do yours. Right, like a protein bar, mate. Yeah, mine's a bit Adam Webster at the back, 100%. Yeah. Plays with Brighton. 20 million quid to sign him for. Yeah. He was a kid at Portsmouth. Came in at 17, mate. Zing balls about with his left and right. Go to the pitch, you wouldn't give a fuck. Keep taking him playing. Really good. Uh, need to be Charlie Austin up front. Brilliant. He was, he was excellent. I'd put him with David, not David Conley I was talking about. Remember David Conley? Ah, he Ireland? was good. Fucking great player. And Matt Wimbledon, Richie, he was brilliant at Wimbledon. And Tom will probably. Uh, Wimbledon, he was Wimbledon, really good. Wimbledon, he was West really Ham, good. West Ham, got promotion West Ham, they're talking about. Right, Slaney. Right, come on, let's hear um, <laughs> You're not allowed to say Nicky Devlin, right? <laughs> but I know he's your mate. You're not allowed to say him. Start with the keeper. Fraser Foster. No, you never <laughs> played the Fraser Foster. Who didn't he? You didn't he? Beat Ross County. So one game you're going to? Why is he with cold teammates? Hots? No. 
He couldn't make it. They couldn't. He's not getting a five here, aren't he? Nah. I don't think I'm getting a five. Free aside. Free aside. Free aside. Free aside. Free aside. He's a two. He's a two. He's a What do you call the boy for you? Be the fullback. <laughs> he played with. He's I struggling. Scoring. I'll have to catch him. Come on. John Fleck. When did you go out? Scotland. 90. No. No. First team games. <laughs> Come on, there's only 45 games. Come on, me Bob. There's only 45 games. Me and Bob. Did you get Bob play? When did Bob play? Bob was a coach, no? No, no, Motherwell. I played with Motherwell. Ah, oh, that's good. Uh, so, uh, what you must say, Motherwell? Aye, but Craig. Craig, and just kick it out and get back into shape. I get Bob to run for it. <laughs> so, Craig, who? Craig in at the back. Drags at the back. Me and Bob, Mal- eh, Bob Malcolm in the middle. <laughs> um, Rabu Ibrahim. That's the old type of boy. Rabu Ibrahim. Ibia. Ibia. And. Jesus. Up front would be. Bob McHugh. What a player! What a player! This has been the best podcast ever. Right, we'll 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 best manager I've ever worked with. Before we end it, just go right in the line. He'll start with you. Better votes. Was he? <laughs> no, I just said. Best. Best. He's got. It's a joke at the end of this. No, no, Jane. No, it's no. Best manager. My favourite manager, Danny Olsen. Is it? Bert the Canyon. No, as a guy. No, my favourite, as in terms of a guy. Danny Wilson. I, I like Danny Wilson. You're I had him at Hartlepool. Very good. Um, Craig Brown. Mellow. Oh, he's back for the Right, lads, welcome back to the Pick 10. Frankie boy, you've got your old mate back. I know. You missed him. I've missed him. You've got a new motor, haven't you? <laughs> you actually have one, haven't you? You actually have got a new motor. I've got a new motor. I've got a new motor. I've got a new How are you, Del? Good, mate? I'm very well. I came up with my. my Vespa, the small <laughs> thing, you know, I know. Aye, I'm no good, that's my money. Why is it eating on the seat, Del? What's that? Eating on the seat. Aye. <laughs> no, well, eating on the Easy. seat. Aye. You careful. You By the way, he's talking about that Peugeot. I had a sponsored motor when I was uh-huh. manager of Clyde Bank. Took it in to get its MOT, and the guy says that was, well, it had been hoffing to at one point in a <laughs> car crash. <laughs> I knew, it, every that's time I got about 70 mile an hour, the thing used to rattle about it. Like, mm-hmm. Nobody's business. So. I don't want these stories again. As, in as, show as, 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 as what happens when you buy a, a, a car and You've a pump. You've been rattling before. <laughs> <laughs> I've been rattling seven mile an hour, aye. Right, boys, seriously, we need a big week because we sit, listen, this used to sit at 1,457 in the month of To be fair, last week's the best weekend I've had because there was no games. What did you give <laughs> So why is that? So, boys, we need that big week, right? We're going to go for it. Back me, me messing right. about. Here we go. Pick 10. Are we ready to go? Aye, aye, aye. Go. You don't seem too excited. Right, here we go. Well, Dundee against Inverness. Well, I think Dundee's sitting in third spot at yeah. the moment. That's a real toughie because aye, that, that is a toughie. Uh, Inverness under uh, Wee Bully, Wee Bully Dodge, a uh, good pal of mine. Very difficult one, but I think home advantage. Aye, think they, so. they need they need that. I think they're wanting to come back up in this. So. I mean, Dundee are the, uh, the favourite for the championship, aye. as we know at the start of the season. So they've had a kind of iffy start of the season, but they'll know it's a massive game for them. So I would I would think Dundee might just Dundee. edge that one. Yeah, Dundee? Dundee. Dundee, just. Yep. No, I would, I would fancy them anyway, so yeah. Right, super, Dundee. Dunfermline Falkirk. That's a derby. I know, I I I yes. a lot, I you played with one of them. Well, I played with both, both of them. I, I, I played with one. Well, that's the bit. Well, I only played with one of my right. I know. Mm, I played with uh, Falkirk, didn't I? That's, 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 that's right. I, I was cameo. Uh, at my time, uh, Dick Campbell at Dunfermline. So again, it's that'll be a feisty affair. Mm. So it will. Uh, I think I'm going to go for a draw on that one. Do you know that? Oh. Do you think so? I yeah. Th- what do you think, Marka? Well, I'm, I was I'm, going to go for I was going to go for a home one, but yeah, you might be right. I was going to go, we'll go for a draw. I'm happy I with that. There, by the way. I'm happy. Aye, with that. I know because I've we'll started draw. well. Because you know your stuff. Draw. Right here Aye. we go. Hibs Aberdeen. That's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. I'll pass the buck to this man. Hibs Aye, Aberdeen. Knows that, he knows these two inside. I, he knows the Premiership think, inside and out. Aye, I just think Aberdeen might be too strong for him there. Yeah. <gasps> right. And I'm uh, going to see, we're going to have to come to right. an agreement here because God, I, I, you know, uh, I've got a wee inkling towards Hibs for this one. Woman. Yep, aye. I think uh, they've still to get a few players back. They've obviously took them a wee bit of time to set a lot of new players in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just think the home advantage. And if you look at Aberdeen as well, the, the games that they have won and mm-hmm. at home, fixture list has been quite good to them. Mm-hmm. Man sent half, so they've had a 
you know, I have that wee bit of luck, but I'm not taking it away from, but I just, I've got a wee right. inkling towards right. I'll go, so, I'll go with your superior knowledge. <laughs> yeah, right. Next week we'll take, take mine if it gets me. If Aberdeen win. It looks like right. a draw on paper, I but know. I was just thinking maybe. Right, okay. I think Hibs might. Hibs right, go for it, go for it. We'll go with it. I actually think Aberdeen, he's a miles after there. Livingston Kilmarnock. Mm. Right. Mm. Right. Uh, but, but with the Astroturfs. <laughs> I don't know. Livingston, Livingston for me. Livingston, aye. Aye. I don't think Derry, Derry would like a better start than when he's got, wouldn't he? McInnes, but he's... Uh, it's hard to go to Livingston. I mean, it's hard for the big teams to go there and get a result. So, aye. Yeah, and go I, to Livingston. Again, they brought go in Livingston. Livingston. Again, a couple of players hit the ground running. And mm -hmm. they're strong in the ring, in aye, the ring good. so they are. Uh, and I like what Martin Dale's doing. You know, he's found a couple, of, as I say, a couple of players that have come in. So home advantage, I think. Levy, aye, just edge that. I, I, think, so, I think he's a spot on there. Aye. Partick Thistle, Cove Rangers. Partick for me. Go as well. Do you know? Day long, aye, I and, know and, Cove. Cove will do well. We'll come down there, and they'll put on a they'll put on a game, but. I think home uh, advantage, Patrick Thistle. Thistle. Good side, Thistle, yeah. by the should way. Be so too, they're under you, Nicole. Should be too strong for Some good players. Do you think you can go up there? Yes. I, see if you, I don't know if you've watched them this season. They're oh, really, I've they're a good, teams. they're a good watch. So they're, they're exciting as well. Uh, they play with wins in their team, they the ball into the box, big, big Graham as I'm well. I'm very welcome at Furhill. <laughs> <laughs> ah, after that one, after the pitch. I said for for 20 minutes, didn't I? I was there for 20 minutes. It's all right. right. I think they've got the bit between their teeth, Thistle. I could mm -hmm. see Thistle winning that. Yeah, I think right. so. Not comfortably, but aye, but with be, be two goals, but I won't to be honest with you. Rafe Rovers, this is, yeah. this is the one I'd struggle at. So Derek's a man for that because that's two, well, two good teams, Aaron, isn't it? They're up at well, the top. They're at the top of the table. Yeah. They're playing well. I watched them against the Morton. Well as well. uh, there was I watched them against Morton. There was there was nothing in the game between the two sides. But mm. do you know Rafe Rovers? They're good in their own patch. So they are. So I think that might be a wee Drop. surprise to a lot of people because people good. think they're yeah, top of the table. They should be able to take care of it. I'm going to pump for Rafe. There, there you go. go. I think it might be a wee surprise yeah. Rafe Rovers. Yeah, I've gone in. I like that. Right. Rangers I'm not going United. to the job, but I'll go with that. Uh, Rangers, listen, they can't afford to drop any more. They're, they're just... That's exactly. You know, they, they could just... I mean, the fans would just go mad if they dropped against them, the United. I think they're, they're going they're mad at the minute. They're shipping in goals. I, I know, but they're shipping in goals. And, and I think it might just be the one that Rangers need to get their confidence back, you know. And home home advantage, I think, would beat the United quite comfortably, I think. Aye, mm. if, if they need to keep them to the Celtic, so they can't, they can't can afford, afford to, to even draw. So I, I, that's a must win. I thought Simple last week they were playing, they were playing Aberdeen. I went for a draw, didn't I? Cause yeah. I thought, mm -hmm. you know, at Petrodja, I thought it may. I agree with you there as well. Aye, but confidence I think home, is home tie, yeah. they'll beat the day. Range of confidence is Aye. low in yeah. that, that yeah. side. Obviously, the, the European thing in the Celtic mm -hmm. game, so. Uh, they need to win that, and they they need to put on a performance as well. Not just winning the game, but put a performance on. Rangers. Rangers. Aye. St Johnston's Ross County. Uh, I would go with home win. That's for me. Ross County's doing well. Uh, Malky's doing a great job. Mm -hmm. Is that? I just St Johnston home advantage. I don't know. Aye, they've added to mm -hmm. their, their squad as well and uh, further up the. The fans are expecting them to beat Ross County to this world. So, as for me, I'd probably, I'd probably go for a St Johnston. Home one, but I'm, I'm, I'm like imagining it was a draw. Just the introduction to wee Clark. Clark comes in there at St Johnson, uh -huh. gets off to you know, gets off the mark in his first game. They win that three nothing. Mm -hmm. I know I didn't see the last game, I didn't see that coming against St Murren. Mm -hmm. So, again, it's a toss of coin because you look at Malky's yeah. side, yeah, you know, good. big, strong, athletic, bit of pace about them. Uh, everything he was, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to edge towards St Johnson because I think there's a wee aye, feel good factor. I was, I was thinking maybe I'd draw. St Johnson or I'd I'm going to leave it with you. I'd, 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 I'd go St Johnson. I'd go St Johnson. I'd go St Johnson. Yeah. I went and I, do you know something? I went to disagree yeah, with that. Brilliant. Aye, St Mirren Celtic. I can be seen by the way. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm going to the game, but. Who's going to get it doing? Aye. The last one I went to, New St Mirren Park, was awful last year. The no no draw from that mm -hmm. terrible midweek, but I think two year old sides. You know what I mean? I, know, I think that's where I'm going. I just think Celtic would be too strong from see the way they play. You're going to get winding down. Oh, of course, aye, of course, of course, yeah. aye. <laughs> Maybe forty with ginger hair, and all that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's Celtic, isn't it? Celtic, I think, I think, I think Celtic will be. You know, 
I think they'll come off too 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 strong for. Oh, Celtic are flying Aye, at the moment. Flying, and I don't, think, I don't think any anything will happen midweek with the, the Champions League games. It doesn't matter. It's open. They've just come out every game. They've got they've got light for light. They they've got light for light coming in. Aye. You know that's what the good thing for right back, left back, right through. They've got. Aye. Somebody comes in knows exactly what they're doing. St Myrna will have a game plan, ah, but they'll not be able, able to live with them. Celtic. The, the pace that they no. play it and the quality no. that they'll go in the final third. So yeah. that could be Celtic. And you're saying Aye. I do it. It could be, be two, three, four. Aye. That Aye. could be anything. That's the way it. And then last but not least, Mullow against Hearts. That's you. This is the one. That's your old club, you mate. Old one, aye. You bought a pitch from didn't you? I think that's changed, mate. Is it? Is I'm it a change? I'm really happy, mate, aye. But they know um, do, do you know, know something? See I that? Don't know. I, see I, that? I've got a wee feel. Uh, see that game when I played with Hearts and always went to Fur Park. It's hard. There was something I don't 100%. know between the, the fans. I used yeah. to feel like something yeah. a, a bit of dislike no, for aye. each other. And so that again, I'm saying about the Dunfermline uh, Falkirk games, a feisty affair. That's a feisty affair as well. I just like the way Stevie Hamill's got them playing. I am brilliant. Uh, aren't a lot of right. quality in that Hearts oh. side, but. Uh, I'm going to go an upset. You're kind of you be edge, edge I'm going to go, I'm going to go with a draw. No, I'm going to. I'm fancy. going to go with a draw then because yeah. that's what I'm fancy uh, the draw because, because that, that's a good. Mother at home. Hearts are not a good. Hearts only playing well, other than I know. Obviously, but they've, they've they, got that. They want that third place. Then they've got that European game. I know. And Thursday night they've come way off it. By the yeah, way, because they, you started the season. But you fancy five. Mother will. Home one. I was kind of edging well, the Go with it. Go with it. I'll take you. So to get his up the board. I know. Many guys. I'm going to go draw. 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 Draw, aye. Yeah. Right. Right, boys. And a good go. game, I think that'll be a good game. I think it'll be goals, innit? Right, lads. Unbelievable. Good luck for the weekend.